I'm Taryn, this is Logan, and this is Max. Join us as we live and sail in the Pacific Northwest on our 40-foot steel sailboat. What a cool jellyfish, though. Also terrifying. And this is right underneath the waterfall. So I'm just getting ready to go do some yoga on my paddleboard. I'm gonna try very hard not to fall in the water because that little guy is very poisonous and I don't want to get anywhere near him. Super cool to watch from a distance though. You are joining us right at the end of our adventure in Princess Louisa Inlet on BC's Sunshine Coast. After almost a week spent in Princess Louisa Inlet, it was time to start our trek back home to regroup before hauling out for some boat projects. Well, what's going on? We are leaving. Yeah, we're leaving. It's a sad, sad day, but we've had an amazing stay here. Now we have something to look forward to coming back. What was your favorite part? My favorite part? Oh man, that's hard. It's a hard one. The swimming, we haven't done a whole lot of it this year, so that was amazing. Like, it was so much fun being under the waterfalls and the hike. The hike was absolutely fantastic. I, the only wish I have is that... Oh man, look at that. Wow, is that coming down out of there? Yeah, so the only wish I have is that we had uh, been able to like hike more, longer. It's just been a long time since I've been up into the Alpine hiking. And I really enjoy that stuff, so. But next time, we'll actually plan for it. We didn't know any of that was here when we came. <laughs> so, man, the waterfalls are just unreal today. Look at that one. Yeah. Yeah, this is amazing. This is way better even than, well, way better than it looked on pictures and stuff. Like, people talked it up and were like, you have to go to Princess Louisa. People say that a lot about, about a lot of places and usually I don't agree when I get there, but this was 100% better than what I expected and just as awesome as people hyped it up to be. So, we will definitely be back, although probably during a different season and hopefully, hopefully to go hiking. Yep. Bittersweet to leave, but um, excited to come back another time, and I'm excited to share these videos with you guys too, because that's half, not half the fun, but it's a lot of the fun for me is being able to film it and then show other people how amazing it is, because it helps me to like experience it more when I'm filming it. Here we go! We headed to Malibu Rapids along with numerous other boats to catch the water at almost slack tide. <laughs> we went through 15 minutes before slack with the current running against us, but made it through without any incident. Unfortunately, not everyone fared as well as us. Wind Gypsy, Wind Gypsy, Wind Gypsy. This is Papa Rumba. Papa Rumba, this is Wind Gypsy. Hey, how are you guys making out there? Uh, the crew went to the sea strainer, so took out some seaweed and duck out of there. Uh, but the engine still won't start. Well, that's good. Uh, is it cranking, or will it just not turn over? Not turn over. Um, Oh, the one on the starter is not clicking. 
Okay, if you want some help troubleshooting, we can come over there and give you a hand. So what's going on here, Logie? Uh, me and Marty are having an issue with their engine not starting. Uh, they overheated. Now their engine won't start. Uh, it sounds like they've got a bit of an electrical gremlin. And we just put our sails up. They're under full sail right now, just sailing back and forth trying to fix it. And we put up our sails and now we're just sailing around. Waiting to see. <laughs> we had about 10 knots on the nose, so we just tacked back and forth while May and Marty tried to get their engine running again. But eventually without intervention from our resident mechanic, Marty and May had their engine going. And we were back to motoring so we could make it out of Jervis Inlet before dark. Well, even though we have the current with us, we're motoring into a headwind. And we're only doing we're down to 3.2 knots now. We motored into the headwind all the way out of the inlet. And remember that heli logging operation from a couple of weeks ago? This was them as we left. What are they doing over there? Honestly, I don't know what they're doing. They're supposed to be loading a barge with all the wood. But it looks like they're just making a mess. And they put a lot of wood into the water. And it was crazy when we went through that acceleration zone back there around the point. It was just loaded with wood in the water. Stupid. Much better now. It's much less windy. We're still making, well, we're making way better speed than we were about an hour to the anchorage if we can keep this up. Well, to Dark Cove, which people have anchored there before. Apparently it's not very nice. So yay. But it's either that or we motor like way past dark to get to Pender Harbor or wherever. Oh, Pender Harbor is just out of the question. We're looking at uh, almost 10 o'clock to get back to where we were before. So. And I've been down below all day editing. So thanks, Logan, for taking the help through the annoying uh, headwinds. But. It is looking a lot calmer out here, so that's nice. So we tried to anchor in a few different places along the way here. We didn't drop the anchor, but we just dropped a lead line to see what the bottom was like, check, check depth and stuff, and there isn't really many anchorages or any that aren't like rock and pretty deep. So we've decided to take our chances with sailing through a bit of darkness, making our way down um, Agamemnon Channel and back to Pender Harbor tonight. So it's dead calm, which is nice when you're dealing with nighttime. And fingers crossed, we have a bit of current with us going down the channel and we can make it there quickly. We're doing 5.4 knots. So that speed it should be about two, two and a half hours to get there. So see how it goes. Me and Marty are quite a ways behind us. But they're also on their way, so I don't know. 
know, maybe we'll slow down going through this channel. Anyway, never a dull moment trying to get through these passes. Never a dull moment trying to anchor in a fjord. to Pender Harbor last night at about 9.45 after we left um, after we left Princess Louisa Inlet. So it took us longer than usual because Marty and May were having engine problems so we stopped to help them and then we got hit with an inflow which is essentially we got hit with like 10 knots of wind on the nose and ended up going really slow. So yeah it took us almost 12 hours to get to Pender Harbor. And now it's 8 o'clock and we're leaving again to head to Nanaimo because we have to be back in Nanaimo for Wednesday. Today's Monday and it's supposed to be it's supposed to be nasty weather for the rest of the week pretty much. So we're up again heading out. It's dead calm, but the wind's supposed to shift from southeast to northwest. Northwest is the direction that we want for sailing, so Fingers crossed we actually get to do some sailing across the street today, otherwise it's going to be another very long motor today. The water was dead calm that morning as we left, but that was okay because it made spotting humpbacks easier. And soon we had enough wind to sail. We weren't in any kind of rush that day either, so we were able to take it nice and slow and just enjoy being on the water. We had in between 5 to 10 knots for most of our way across the strait, and we used the low winds as a good excuse to learn our boat a bit better as we played around with sails a bit. between 8 and 10 knots right now. We've got full sail up, so we've got the full main, the jib, and the staysail all out. And we're actually doing 4.7 knots with a bit of current against us, so that's pretty cool. We're like two hours into our journey, so we probably got about four hours left. Four and a half. And we're heading for Nanaimo with proper weather and proper sailing angle. It's really exciting, actually. <laughs> this is like the sailing dream out here right now. It's even warmish, ish. Warm enough that I'm not cold. So, yeah. Happy we got up early this morning. And we even saw orcas. So I know these shots aren't great or super interesting, but every orca sighting is still amazing to me. So you get to see it just so I can remember it years from now. We made it back to Nanaimo safe and sound and settled in before the forecasted storm blew through. Thanks so much for being here with us. We love reading all of your comments and connecting with our viewers, so please leave a comment below and hit that like button. Next week we are doing a Q&A wrap up video before we show you our very last adventure in the water before Hollow. <laughs>